Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, nice to meet you, to meet all of you, wherever you are. Uh, at any time you are, you know, watching me for the first time in the first uh, preliminary introductory uh, class or session. Uh, this course is called Introduction to American Literature and uh, its number is uh, English uh, 487, okay, if I'm not mistaken, okay. Uh, this course, as you know, uh, its name, you know, says it's an introductory course uh, to the American uh, literature. I'll be for your instructor for this course. My name is Dr. Bassam Abu Zaid. Uh, and I hopefully we keep in touch with each other till the end of the semester through uh, the contact details that are shown you know, at the end of the uh, PowerPoint file. We'll come to uh, these details at the end of the lecture. Uh, it's just something to start with, you know. Uh, this lecture is just to introduce you to the course syllabus, okay? and then to the distribution of the grades and how to contact me, okay? Uh, first of all, uh, uh, regarding the course syllabus, as you see, and as, you know, uh, every course syllabus uh, is called, you know, it's called, you know, tentative course syllabus. And tentative means suggestive, which means it's not a final, it's not definite. Okay, that means we may change, you know, this plan, you know, uh, according to uh, any circumstances that we find it, you know, uh, or we face it uh, during the semester. Okay, uh, as you see the first page, you know, uh, the name of the, or the title of the course, okay, and then the number of the course, and then we come to the objectives of this uh, course and as you see and you can read just with I'll read with you uh, fast so the course aims at exposing the students of English language and literature to different literary and cultural canons of the English speaking world okay through the wide scope second through the wide scope and cultural sorry through the wide scope of reading the course aims at giving the students an ample opportunity to trace the development of American literature uh, being dependent on the English literature to be a real independent and even influential in it. Uh, third, the course aims at exposing the students to the inter inter, uh, sorry, intercultural nature of the American literature. And one of the main objectives of the course this is the last objective, is to develop the student's literary taste and analytical and critical skills, okay? These are the يعني, objectives that are, you know, expected to be achieved by the end of the course. And I hope we, يعني, we do our best to achieve uh, uh, يعني, all of them or يعني, most of them, okay? And as you see, for uh, every course has its own uh, references, textbooks. Uh, so, uh, of course, the textbooks, you know, recommended here are, you know, uh, major references uh, in English literature, okay, in general and in American uh, literature in particular. Uh, of course, you are not required to buy any of these because these are, you know, uh, big, large uh, size, you know, textbooks, and they are usually a bit expensive. So, but f you know, uh, of course, you know, I recommend and I advise you, as you know, English major students, to buy or at least have one of these references because you know these references are important for you as uh, as English major students to keep with you for good. You know, because these you know uh, references are. Uh, valid, you know, for let's say long life validity they have, okay? So you can use, they just, uh, they are just like, you know, uh, dictionaries. So you can refer to them at any time, 
regarding to their you know uh, publishing you know date okay uh, these uh, references as they you know listed to you um, uh, the northern anthology to american literature okay uh, which is uh, this series the northern series is one of the most important and one of the most common and famous uh, series in english literature in general whether it is american or canadian or australian or uh, any other you know uh, types of literature but you know talking particularly about english and american literature the norton anthology and norton series uh, is really a very famous series in english literature so the f first one is the norton anthology of american literature and the other one is also the same title but of different people of different you know uh, authors the, one, the first one is by murphy the second is by uh, Bain, the northern anthology of american literature and a sec uh, different edition the third one is the northern anthology of english literature this is uh, uh, this one is uh, specialized in english literature uh, and it's uh, and it is listed here because you know uh, the American literature is in a way considered to be an extension to uh, the American, uh, sorry, to the English, to the, uh, let's say, the British English uh, literature. Okay, so this is also another, you know, uh, reference uh, to use or to refer to, uh, especially when we talk about British English literature, but still it's uh, of much use for you, even in uh, studying uh, American literature. Uh, the fourth one is uh, 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 a book that is called Major Writers for Early American uh, Literatures. It's also a nice uh, book by Emerson Evert and uh, it's uh, this book. Uh, uh, this book, you know, uh, has, you know, a list of uh, great uh, famous American writers with their, you know, uh, famous and, you know, uh, most important, you know, uh, pieces of literature. So uh, this uh, text or this book has about uh, uh, nine uh, famous American writers, okay? Uh, this book might not be available يعني, in the bookstores, but still, if you find it anywhere at a good price you may buy it and keep it with you as a reference for this book or for any uh, other course that is related to american literature uh, the other books that have uh, that are mentioned in number one and two and uh, yeah, number one and two they are books like these okay this is uh, one of the uh, norton anthology uh, textbooks so it's called a Norton Anthology, okay, the Norton Anthology of American Literature, okay. Uh, this is, يعني, how, it, sorry, uh, this is how it looks, okay, and, you know, uh, the book, I think, is available in the bookstores, but you don't need to uh, buy it, okay. It's enough to uh, stick to, for this course at least, it's enough to uh, stick to the contents of the uh, of the course that uh, will be available for you with each lecture, you know, uh, because, you know, the contents of this lecture is sort of a compiled material. They I compiled it from different uh, textbooks, you know, uh, which is this one, the Norton Anthology to American Literature, and uh, this one, Lua and Norton Anthology to English uh, Norton, uh, sorry, the Norton Introduction to Literature in general that includes, you know, uh, American writers and some uh, parts of the American uh, literature. And then we have this one as a third uh, reference. Uh, besides, you know, as you see, the last uh, uh, textbook or the last reference is the websites, okay? Uh, of course, I refer to many websites uh, to collect my material, and uh, they'll be also uh, given to you in, in, in one uh, file that has the whole material, including the websites, uh, I mean, uh, the website for each part 
of this uh, of the contents of this material uh, regarding you know the evaluation or distribution of grades that's something also you all know but just something to uh, remind you with as you all know we have the uh, the total points you know 100 points uh, are divided into uh, four parts you know, uh, uh, ten uh, points for the topics uh, topics for discussion ten uh, about fourteen uh, questions and they'll be provided uh, very soon and they'll be uh, general questions about American literature and you know uh, later on when we meet for the first time uh, in one of the live uh, live, sorry, one of the live uh, sessions, I'll let you know about the importance of these topics for discussion because some of them will be important for the final exam, okay? Uh, some of the questions of the final exam might be taken from these topics for discussion. So that means you have to take these uh, topics seriously, okay? And when it comes to these topics for discussion, you, يعني, please do your best to do it yourselves, okay? Don't let anybody else, you know, do it for you. And when you do it, don't just, you know, do this business of copying and pasting. Try to be precise, short, brief, huh? and correct at the same time, relevant in your answer. Okay? And if you are not sure about any answer, you can, okay, check with me. There are sometimes, you know, some general open-ended questions. Uh, these can be answered, you know, in different ways according, you know, uh, to your opinion or your attitude towards, you know, whatever is, you know, uh, uh, you know, whatever is, you know, uh, included or required in the uh, question. So, uh, the 14 uh, topics for discussion will be, يعني, some of them will be important for the uh, final exam. Uh, then we'll have the, what you may call quizzes. There'll be three quizzes, uh, and they'll be, hopefully will be simple. Uh, they'll be divided, I mean, these, the quizzes will be three. The 10 points will be divided as, you know, uh, into three quizzes. Well, first uh, will be out of the three, points second will be out of out of a three and then number three third the quiz will be also out of four that means ten points and the quizzes the three quizzes will be of multiple choice questions i'll give you uh, um, questions related to american literature and there will be multiple choice questions on some you know extracts quotations uh, pieces of lit of American literature, like you know, uh, maybe some poetry or some parts of uh, fiction, a part of a story or a novel or whatever. Okay, uh, you'll know about it later. Uh, then we come to the live lectures, and they'll be announced, of course, uh, sometime ahead. You know, before uh, their you know due date. So, and you need to attend these. Uh, live sessions uh, or live lectures because they are part of the participation, uh, part of the 30 points. So uh, they, they are given uh, 10 uh, points. And then we come to the final exam, which is out of 70, which is the most important part of the, uh, of the course. Okay, it's 70, uh, 70 points. That means you need to put a lot of work and uh, be, to work hard to yani, to gain or uh, get as much as possible out of the 70 uh, in the final exam. The final exam will be comprehensive, inclusive. Okay, That means it includes everything that we study from the very beginning of the semester to the very end, yani from lecture 1 to lecture 14, Okay, including the uh, questions of the quizzes and some of the uh, topics for discussion okay and then we talk more about the final exam when we uh, meet for the first time or the second time in a live session uh, but of course as you all know the uh, the final exam will be all multiple choice you will not be asked to write anything other than your names the questions will be all multiple choice A, B, C, D uh, then uh, and last we will come to the 
uh, contents of the of each lecture okay we'll have about 14 lectures as usual and yeah, let's say uh, as if we are meeting once a week just like you know uh, the regular students we meet here uh, at the university so you are almost the same you know and I think also you have uh, a better chance to yani, uh, to read and understand the material and to review it at your own time to check with me okay so you have really great opportunity and chance to yani, improve your English and to know more about you know the uh, the contents of the of the course okay uh, we come to the uh, the contents of the course uh, who are, uh, week one will be a uh, sort of a general and brief introduction to American literature we'll talk in, uh, in, in one class uh, in the first class about uh, the importance of the American literature and how it started where it started and uh, great writers or great people or first people who started, you know, to uh, be considered as, you know, uh, American, you know, uh, uh, literary important figures, okay, with some dates, okay. And just something also to mention here that this course, this is really important. I want you all to pay attention to what I'm saying here. Uh, at least the first half part of the uh, classes, okay, our lectures uh, depend ma yani mainly, basically, on your reading and memorizing details. Because, you know, the first part of, uh, of, the, uh, of the course, let's say about the first uh, maybe uh, six or seven uh, weeks or seven lectures, will be sort of uh, a background uh, on the American literature and the different movements and the different, you know, uh, uh, people with different, uh, you know, dates and names. So th these things really, uh, uh, all what they need is just to read again and again and memorize for the exams. Okay, and it's not just like, you know, let's say uh, some, you know, uh, mathematical problems that you need to understand or uh, physics problems that, you know, these just need a lot of reading and memorizing. Okay, so here we talk about, you know, in the first week about uh, American literature in general. And then uh, from this point here, we... Uh, you know, decide on, you know, how to continue with the uh, other weeks, you know. The next uh, lectures, the next weeks will be just as we uh, say in the first one, uh, as we agree, up, uh, agree upon something that is, you know, uh, let's say called, you know, dividing the, uh, the literature of uh, America, or the American literature, into different parts, different movements, okay? These movements are, you know, uh, discussed separately uh, in each week. So the first week will, uh, in the first week, oh sorry, second week, it was second lecture, we discuss, as you see, week two, the colonial, uh, the, uh, colonial literature, the colonial movement, okay? as you know number one then we uh, next third week or week three we uh, jump to the third or the second sorry movement here romanticism then week four to the four, uh, third you know movement the realism then fourth movement and uh, week five naturalism then week six to modernism okay in, in week seven we also come to an important movement in an important part of American literature that is called the Harlem Renaissance, or Harlem Movement, okay, which, which is a very important part of the uh, American literature. It's, of course, a recent uh, movement. Then the rest of the lectures, starting from week 8, ending with uh, uh, week 13, in each uh, week or each uh, uh, lecture, we'll discuss now pieces, real pieces of literature, of American literature. We start with 
uh, of course, uh, uh, these you know uh, works of literature are divided into the three uh, main genres of literature: which are poetry, fiction, and drama. And usually, uh, I start with poetry because it's yeah, and it considered to be the oldest, okay, and you know, the the, the most original, you know, uh, genre. So uh, poetry as a first genre, we'll discuss, you know, uh, uh, two poems by Emily Dickinson, okay? Uh, the first one is called Because I Could Not Stop for Death, okay? The other one is called Hope is the Thing with Feathers. Both are by Emily Dickinson. Emily Dickinson is one of the most famous American literary figures, okay? So you have to remember this name, and then, of course, a short biography uh, on this uh, person, okay? This also we'll discuss uh, again um, in, the, in the coming lectures, but something to keep in mind that we have to uh, just have a list of uh, some of the most important figures and to remember, you know, uh, the short biographies on each of them, okay? And biography here, I mean, you know, uh, the the life of each of these, you know. A biography of Emily Dickinson means to, يعني, uh, a brief history about the life of Emily Dickinson and then about, you know, the other, you know, writers that we are going to uh, mention in the next lectures. <coughs> so we'll have poetry in one lecture, just two, Two will be enough as just an uh, example. You can go for more if you like uh, by referring to the textbooks that our references that I mentioned or to uh, websites also uh, which are very much available. <clears throat> then the net, uh, next uh, lecture, well, lecture number nine, a week nine, we have uh, the fiction genre. In fiction here, that we mean what? Uh, stories, novels, novellas. Stories of different kinds, short or long, okay, whether they are short or long, I mean, short stories or uh, novels. Of course, we don't have much time uh, to discuss novels and for you to read novels. So I yani, uh, chose, you know, uh, selected uh, two nice, famous, uh, prominent, uh, let's say, uh, short stories, and they are very interesting. The first one is called, you know, The Story of an Hour by Kate Chopin. Uh, Kate Chopin is a lady, uh, is a writer. Uh, she is one of the f yani, uh, f most famous, one of the very famous, let's say, uh, American writers. Uh, and, you know, uh, she wrote uh, many stories. Uh, defending the woman rights in the states in the beginning of the, let's say, early 18th and uh, 19th century. Uh, uh, when we come to the story, uh, I hope that you like it. Uh, it's, an, uh, it's really an interesting one, okay? So also we need to know about Kate Chopin, uh, and we read the story. Uh, then uh, ten, uh, week 10 will be another, you know, piece of fiction, another short story, uh, that is called the uh, Telltale Heart. Telltale Heart is also one of the masterpieces in English literature and in American literature by one of the most important, you know, literary figures, Lua Edgar Allan Poe. Okay? Edgar Allan Poe is also a name that you need to remember uh, all through this course. Okay? And then in uh, lecture 11, uh, week 11, another piece of fiction also, uh, this one is sort of a novel, okay? Uh, it's a long story, but of course we don't have much time to read, and just to make it يعني, easy uh, for you, uh, I just, you know, uh, selected uh, parts of this uh, novel. Uh, I think it's uh, chapter one, two, and the last chapter. I don't, I don't remember the exact number of the last chapter. So just to have an idea about the beginning of the novel and then the end of the novel. <clears throat> so you can have an idea about the novel in general, but we can read about, uh, you know, about the novel in, in summaries that, uh, that tell about the whole novel 
you know, in general. Uh, Adventures of Huckleberry, uh, Huckle, sorry, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, okay, uh, by Mark Twain. Adventures of Huckleberry Finn is also another masterpiece in American literature. is one of the most famous novels in uh, American literature by a very famous writer, Lua Mark Twain. Also, this name you need to remember all through the semester, Mark Twain. Okay, then uh, because it's a long one, we uh, cover it in two weeks or two lectures. So 12 will be also again discussing Huckleberry, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. Okay, and when, when we come to uh, these parts, Lua, poetry, fiction, and drama, we'll talk uh, more about the elements of each uh, genre. Okay, the elements of each genre, yani what, you know, what makes each genre, okay, uh, what to discuss when we read a piece of poetry, a piece of fiction, a piece of drama, okay. Uh, then we come to number 13, number 13 uh, is the third uh, genre, which is uh, called the uh, drama, okay, a drama, will, uh, which is considered with plays, of course, and I'm sure that you know that, and we'll have just one sample, or uh, one example of an American drama. Uh, it's a short, I looked for a short, you know, uh, drama. I think it's one act uh, play by Susan Glaspels, uh, sorry, Ju uh, Susan Glaspel. Uh, uh, that is all. And then uh, 14, the last lecture, will be general revision and, you know, discussion of the whole course. And uh, if there are, you know, questions raised all through the semester, I'll just collect them and answer them. I'll, you know, highlight your questions or your uh, suggestions in this last uh, lecture, okay? Uh, I think that's all as an introductory uh, lecture for this course. And inshallah, you know, very soon you will have uh, the first, you know, two or three lectures available for you so you can start reading and getting ready for the course. Uh, uh, last part of this uh, introductory or pre uh, preliminary uh, lecture or session uh, uh, is the information uh, about, you know, me and how to contact me. Here you have my mobile telephone number, which is uh, an official uh, number. The, that is, you know, given by the deanship of e-learning. So this is, of course, not my uh, personal, and I don't please uh, let anybody or allow anybody to call me on my, you know, uh, personal number, okay? So you please use this number du uh, uh, during the office hours. I'm sorry, I don't have my office hours, you know, put for you, but in, 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 inshallah, maybe when we meet next time, I make a change. Uh, I may make a change on this course syllabus by adding the office hours. So you can call me. Also, you can call me uh, on my extension on my office number 1845 plus to, uh, extension lower interior ex uh, inter uh, let's say internal ex extension 26. So you have to dial first university number and then 1845. Then 26. If it is changed, I'll let you know. Okay. And here you have also my e email. Uh, I read my e email and almost every day, and I for sure I reply every message. That's all from uh, from me here. Thank you very much. Please, you send me any email uh, very soon if you have any questions about this introduction. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a nice time and see you soon in our first uh, lecture. Okay? Goodbye. Assalamu alaikum.